Shinky Paik described witnessing his brother Edward Paik running outside and ducking for fear that the low flying attack jet would hit him just before the shadow passed over his shop on the north side of Columbia Pike. Hello, my name is Shinky Pei, and you ask me. <laughs> okay, um, where were you on the morning of September 11th? Well, we were in the, uh, sitting in the office, and we were listening what happened on New York um, World Trade Center. And there was a news said um, the airplane hijacked, and then it's coming this way. And we're sitting, and all of a sudden we heard some roaring and rumbling. Something is kind of hitting us. Very imminent things could happen. So. Uh, we look at each other, and it really, uh, the noise is un unbearable. And at the last moment, my brother uh, jumped out the uh, office, and as soon as he went out, he was just scooping down. Uh, and then I'm sitting here, and then standing, and then I think at that moment, the big airplane just uh, flew over. As soon as he went out, jumped out, he was scooping down and on, the, on the ground, and then I think he, he thought something hitting him, and then I see here inside, I saw here, the, uh, kind of uh, blacken out a little the bit. Momentarily, yeah. Although Shinky did not see the plane, the flight path that his brother Edward described and illustrated in 2006 fatally contradicts all official reports, data, and the physical damage. It almost hit these roofs over here. Yeah. So we saw it fly. It was coming from. Coming from. From like. This way. Mm -hmm. Coming from there to mm -hmm. this way. Okay. And then at the time, feeling it looks like it almost hit my roof, that much roof, kind of with the uh, body side, the wind uh, over the building, and the wing is at this way. Oh, oh, so you're saying the body was over the building? Yeah, the little over here. The body, the kind of a body here. Okay. Body there, okay. That's that's the direction. All of Ed's illustrations have the entire plane crossing to the north side of Columbia Pike, headed directly over the Navy Annex. Edwards' assertion that the plane crossed to the north side of Columbia Pike and flew directly over the Navy Annex has been corroborated repeatedly by several other witnesses who were in a variety of excellent locations to be able to judge. Were you between the wings of the Navy Annex or out on the... I was right at the edge of being on the outer portion, okay? So mm -hmm. and when the plane went right over the top of me, I was within 10 feet of the edge. I was inside... Mm -hmm flew over the top of me, mm -hmm. okay, uh, and which is like, it's right on the edge and I'm right here, mm -hmm. okay. If the Air Force Memorial had been built, the airplane would have ran into it. Right up there he came in between, what's that, the Hilton and Navy Annex, and he started dropping. I looked up, looking in this direction, and I could see the plane over the corner of that, uh, the building there. What building? The... Uh, that would be the Naval Annex. Navy Annex? Yeah. As I looked over, I noticed the um, airplane, nice-sized plane, was coming in, and it was like it may have been about no more than three feet above the Navy annex when it was coming across from there. So at the time, you know, all of a sudden we seen a plane far as over the overhead over the um, Navy annex coming from over. Where in relation to the Navy annex what was the plane? Did he come uh, when to, I saw the airplane, he was... Uh, he was practically in front of the Navy Annex. It is also corroborated by the eyewitnesses' placement of the plane on the north side of the former Sitco gas station. How certain are you that the plane came on the north side of the station as opposed to the south side? hundred percent sure that it, what I saw is the plane come out from this corner of the canopy, over this side of the canopy. All right. right now, how sure are you that the plane was to the north 
coming from the north side of the Navy Annex. You're saying it was pretty much between the Navy Annex and Arlington Cemetery? Yeah. How right. certain are you of that? 100%. Bet my life on it. Now, let me ask you this. This is going to sound kind of silly. What are the odds that both of you are mistaken as far as the fact that the plane was on this side of the station and that the plane actually came from the south side of the station? Uh, I tell you right now, <laughs> it, you can't say more than 100% because I mean, there's no way it was anywhere other than where I said it was. Yeah. What about you? Again, something like that, something of, of that magnitude. So to reverse that question, what's the percentage chance that the plane was actually on the south side of the station? Uh, zero chance. Is there less than zero <laughs> percent? For our 2006 interview with Edward Paik, and for interviews with the other witnesses corroborating him, see the Pentagon smoking gun version and National Security Alert for free at citizeninvestigationteam.com.